Hi, and uh, today we are gonna learn the method of production of the butadine. And this video is meant for the students who are preparing for the gate examination. And this will provide a key that how to keep in mind the catalysts which are used in the various processes. So, method of production of the butadine, and it is also called as CH2 double bond CH. CH double bond CH2 and basically there are three methods for the production of butadiene the first one is dehydrogenation of butane and the name itself indicates that we need to remove H2 from the butane the second method is oxyhydrogenation of butane and the name itself indicates that we need to add O2 but we will see that why we need to add oxygen in this process and the third one is from ethanol and now we are going to find the difference between these three processes so the first point of the differentiation of these three processes is the reaction itself so butane so C4H10 will give us butadiene CH2 double bond CH CH double bond CH2 plus 2 times H2 the reaction in this process is C4H10 and it's important to keep in mind that this is the reversible reaction so this should give us C1234 C4H6 plus H2 so these are 6 4 and 6 okay now this reaction is balanced and in this case okay this is the first point so C2H5 OH will first give us aldehyde that is CH3 CHO plus H2 whether this reaction is balanced so here we have 3 4 5 6 and here we have 6H oxygen is 1 okay carbon is two okay then the excess ethanol c2h5oh will again react with this aldehyde to give us butadiene ch2 double bond ch ch double bond ch2 plus 2h2o and now we are going to find the second difference that is the catalyst used in this process as chromic oxide on porous zeolite and now it's important to note that this is the reversible reaction and so we need to add oxygen to pull the equilibrium to the right hand side of this reaction so we need to add oxygen to pull the equilibrium to the right hand side of the reaction and therefore the process itself is known as oxyhydrogenation of C4H10 that is we need to add oxygen in order to pull the equilibrium to the right hand side of this reaction so we need to add oxygen in this case and the catalyst used a small amount of halides and mainly these halides are iodine or bromine and in this process the catalyst used is silica tantala catalyst and now we are gonna talk about the pressure so the third point of differentiation is the pressure in this case as we get two additional moles of H2 that is as here we get two additional moles of gas and so this is favored by low process by low pressure sorry so 
In this process, the pressure is maintained about 120 to 150 mm of absolute. And the pressure in this process is kept around one atmosphere. And now it is important to note that the fourth point in this process is here we use CAA that is cuprous ammonium acetate for purification of crude butadiene for purification of crude butadiene and then this is followed by the furfural extractive distillation and then we need to do the azeotropic distillation using ammonia so these three points are important in this process that we use CAA that is the cuprous ammonium acetate for the purification of the crude butadiene and then we make the, the use of furfural extractive distillation and then this is followed by the azeotropic distillation by making the use of ammonia and no doubt that further ammonia can be further it can be separated by absorption process by making the use of water so this was all the information regarding the production of the butadiene and mainly this production is important because in the future we need to produce the styrene butadiene rubber and this is the main objective to produce the butadiene because we need to produce the styrene butadiene rubber in the future and thank you for watching this video.